Now today we're gonna talk about street dogs in Thailand. Between two and eight million, that's how many there are on the streets. Beautiful dogs like Hank here end up on the streets for no reason of their own. They face so many difficult challenges on a daily basis. And one of those challenges is that they often get hit by cars, they often end up disabled. And we're gonna meet a wonderful woman today called Sybil, and she helps so many dogs, but she's got a particular focus on disabled dogs and helping them to walk again. And the work that she does is nothing short of miraculous. We definitely help some dogs here, like Hank here had multiple issues, but the work that Sybil does in helping these dogs literally walk again is absolutely incredible. Where we're actually gonna go now is to what she calls her project house. She's got 20 disabled dogs between her two houses. Some of them live with her, and it's a really special place where I think the best of humanity is on show. So without any further ado, let's jump on the scooters and go and meet the wonderful Sybil. So we're here at Sybil's house now, and I'm gonna take you inside. She's gonna be in there with about 15 dogs, and it's just one of the most beautiful things you'll ever see. And um, these, all these dogs are dogs with special needs. So they live here with you in the house? Yes, this is a house just for dogs. You have a house just for dogs? No humans live here? No humans live here. Just they come here and um, take care of the dogs, but the dogs live here on their own. With me, of course, as a supervisor or something like this. How long have you been looking after dogs? Now it's 11 years. And why disabled dogs? At the beginning when I start, I do a lot of medical stuff at the local shelter and then I see that these dogs have no chance on the way. So Nala, Nala um, was run over by a car, so her spine is broken here. She's totally paraplegic, cannot feel anything here, it's incontinent. Omeni is also paraplegic, run over by car, spine is broken also here, also incontinent. But is it more work than a normal dog? It's much more work, yeah. So the difference that Sybil makes is all those 20 dogs that she has, or 21, they'd all be dead. It's not even in debate. Like some of the dogs we help could survive and you know, they'd find food, but Sybil's dogs would all be dead if it were not for Sybil. I think the way she just does it so effortlessly and so selflessly is what inspires me the most. So the first time I met Sybil was actually Miss Marple. I'd rescued Miss Marple down in an area of the island and then Sybil messaged me and she said, can I come and help? And she did. She was quite bad when, when we first found her. She was like covered with fleas, covered with ticks, her wounds on her back legs, cannot walk of course, was very skinny and totally dirty. She was so living in a toilet. She was living in a toilet and the most dirtiest place I ever seen her somewhere. She would be dead. She would be dead. But you know, when you look at Miss Marple, she don't think she's disabled. Somebody like Miss Marple, will she walk again? No. One of the vertebrae is broken, so she will never walk again. They just want to live, want to have fun. They have a great spirit, don't they? They really, they never give up. So this is Little Stitch and he's one of the dogs that Sybil helped. He obviously got hit by a car twice, but he's fully able to walk now. But the most important thing, and this is what we do mainly at Happy Doggo, is he's been sterilized. So neutered, same with all the females. So we've sterilized nearly 2000 dogs now. It's the only way that we're ever gonna be able to stop the amount of dogs going into Sybil that need to get fixed because less dogs on the streets means less dogs getting hit by cars. So that's the, really the biggest solution. So yes, Sybil can help dogs like Stitch, but we need to get the d number of dogs down, which is our biggest focus. Isn't that right, Stitchy? No babies from you. So tell me about putting the dogs into a wheelchair. How difficult is that? It's easy. <laughs> it's really... No, for me, it's really easy. It just takes me 10 minutes to put all the dogs in the wheelchair. They really love easy. it. They love it. They love it. They love it. And how much is a wheelchair? A wheelchair is between 140, 160 euros. But it changes their life. Yes. Now 
Now I just wanted to show you something here. You can see Thumper, his paw is holding it a little bit funny. Come here, Thumper. You can see that he's got a tiny bit of a limp here. And the reason for that probably is he's got a little whack off a car. This is the most common injury we always see. It's very common them for them to get a more serious whack. And that's where we see the broken legs. Broken legs are really expensive to fix. They're about a thousand dollars, so it's very, very hard. But this one, hopefully for Thumper, is just a little whack. They live out here on the road. You can see Snowy as well, who's here. Now I've taken the camera over and I've got a very special message from Lana who normally films the videos. Thumper and I would love for you to subscribe to our channel. <laughs> Isn't that right Thumper? <laughs> so tell me a little bit about Hannah. She's an amazing dog that was on your Instagram. Hannah is now in Germany and uh, you may have found Hannah. She cannot walk. She was stiff. She can just move her eyes and her head a little bit. She had wounds with muggins everywhere. So I took her and um, make a lot of training. It took me I think a half year is physio, swimming, acupuncture, of course the medicine for the wound at the beginning and then um, she walk again. Everybody else, 99.9% .9 people would give up on these dogs. With Hannah, what did you see? Like, why do you not give up? <laughs> I don't want to, because it, it, I cannot explain. It's a feeling the dog look at you and you know she don't want to die. Like, like a smart home, they just need somebody really to take care of responsibility. It's really a 24 hour job. Yeah, you have to but do what, this. About, what about you? What When you are tired and oh. exhausted and they, <laughs> they need you 100%, so how do, how do you get the energy? From your dogs, of course. I live the life I really want to. <laughs> so, we're gonna go now and meet four characters. I know them. The Beach Boys. They're a very special group of dogs, aren't they? Yeah. And the names are Leo, Freddy, Tom and Neil. And why are they called the Beach Boys? Because we go to the beach every day. Two times. And sometimes we're swimming, sometimes with the beaches. And yeah, that's why I call them the Beach Boys. Look ahead, the sea is calm. And I know we've been through a lot, but just wait. For better days to come and carry us like wind in our sails. Hold on tight. I can smell the shore, it's right in front of us if we just hold on tight. This vision that I saw is getting closer every dawn. So I think that was a fascinating look at the work that Sybil does. It's just mind blowing how, how much effort she puts in. One crucial part, in the next phase of what I want to do is right here is going to be Tina's hospital. So it's a facility. There will be lots of tools for Sybil to be able to expand on the wonderful work that she does. Because obviously doing it in her house, doing it here at the land is good, but she needs more tools and more facilities to be able to do it better. So Tina's hospital will be a huge help to help the likes of dogs like Hannah and other wonderful dogs that Sybil helps us. So if you want to see that journey and you enjoyed everything that you saw today, especially Sybil's fantastic work, you can hit the subscribe button down below and follow along where hopefully you'll see us grow together and support the work of that wonderful woman who does that on a daily basis. I'm just so happy that I found her and she inspires me on a daily basis. So Sybil, if there was more people like you in the world, it would be a much better place.